Hey everyone, uh, we just wanted to do a quick update again uh, about our life here on Maui, things that are happening. Um, so we just moved this past Monday. We are in a condo in Kihei and um, we are happy to be here. Uh, it's nice to have a place uh, that we know we can um, settle in for this month, the month of September. Um, the girls are still in school here in Kihei and um, their teachers are taking good care of them and they're making friends and just doing well. Um, uh, we're still looking for long-term housing. Don't know where we're going to be at um, or after this month of September, um, but at least we know where where we can be for the next 30 days. So, yeah. We wanted to just give like an update as well how we're doing. Um, I feel like so many people um, have just been like encouraging to us and just telling us like how great we're doing and and i i think like by god's grace we're we're doing well but just also want to just put out there it's not like it's all just sunshine and rainbows and um like the christian life is just real and raw and we don't always we don't we don't want to put up the like mirage that everything's just always fine and we're never having any problems um, like man the last few weeks this month I've just felt more like sad and even just cried more than I can remember any other time in my life and um, I was just telling some of the guys in our church just in a men's prayer group just every night like seven eight o'clock to just when they think of it pray for me because I feel like every single night I'm just lacking patience and just sinfully wickedly um, lacking kindness and I'm irritated and I, I am not gracious with my kids just with um, the bedtime routine or, or they're fighting about something but I'm just <laughs> not in a good place um, and I can't just blame that on being tired um, uh, so just with all the things that are going on um, with our church a, a couple Wednesdays back we talked about lamenting and I'll have some more just in the, the email if you guys wanted to look up like this article that I shared um, but we we as believers can cry out to God and, and talk to him and just tell him about our 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 sorrows and, and our questions and even complaints and say God like what is going on and, um, I know like for me, like I just feel so sad about like the, this like neighborhood community that we had of all of these kids that we like had in our home like all the time and these relationships. And um, I felt so sad just seeing some of the pictures that I'm sure that you guys saw of like cars that are completely burnt out on the front street and just thinking of people who are hearing and seeing cars exploding and they're jumping into the ocean and and now there's just numbers of people that are are missing and who knows what happened to them they drifted off to sea or like died in the fire and um, it's just so so sad um, the other day when i was driving the girls to school um like different times throughout the last couple of weeks we, we think of like oh my gosh we lost this in the fire and um a couple of days back, taking the girls to school, Ty was like, oh, um, do we still have my helmet? And it was like the helmet that when she was little, she had this little like white helmet to try to like make her head round. <laughs> and we, we kept that and brought it from Arizona and she like loves looking at it and would even put it on sometimes. And she, um, she's like, did we have it from, or was it at the house? And I'm like, I'm sorry, Ty, it was, it was in the house. It was burned in the fire and Ty just like melts and just is crying and then Zoe like puts her hand on her and and I'm like I'm sorry Ty like there's been so many like hard things that have been lost and but there would be good things too and then Zoe just says like what's good about the fire and we just like have these different moments that are just real sad and in the moment don't even have like the best words or answers for our girls and for ourselves um, and 
uh, what I was sharing with our church was these are like moments that we can just be real and honest with God. And we have the book of Lamentations where looking at Jerusalem being destroyed and lamenting over the destruction and crying out to God and Psalms that, that happens. And um, we have a great God that can hear all of our, our sadness. Speaking of sadness and crying, I can hear Zeke, who just woke up from his nap, so we might need to cut this and start back in a minute. We're back with an additional nailer for the rest of the video. A crybaby. Um, a crybaby. <laughs> a literal crybaby. Um, so, yeah, just like Eric said, there's been hard moments, um, just lots of emotions that we're figuring out how to um, work through and process together. and. Um, we were just driving the other day and I saw like smoke in the distance that looked like there was a fire. I don't even know if there was, but it looked like it. And I uh, just, I couldn't stop myself. I just started crying and just feeling, um, just the, the remembering the day of the fire and all that um, kind of happened that day. And I don't even know exactly um, what emotion I was feeling, but it, it just caused me to um, start crying and so and I our girls have had moments of just um, lots of emotion that's coming out in different ways and we're just um, just uh, figuring out how to process that in healthy ways and um, you can pray for us to do that well with the girls to be sympathetic and understanding and help them um, work through their emotions um, and yeah praise God that we have each other and that we have our church family and um, we're not alone in it, but you can um, pray for us to to express that in healthy ways. Yeah, so like us sharing our little like sob story at the moment is is really just because I want you guys to know, like as Christians, we can we're not trying to put on a face or a mask. Like everything's always fine. Like that's just not reality. That's not real life. And, and our God knows that, and he wants us to cry out to him. That's why there's so many songs and psalms of prayers of lament. And he can handle all of your emotions and all of your anxieties and all of your fears. Uh, and it ends even when we don't know where we're going to live <laughs> in a few weeks, or we don't know what the next step is. It ends in trust in the Lord, trusting in the one who knows how it all ends and is strong and mighty enough to carry us through so we just want to encourage you guys that um, we are by God's grace still trusting in him and so part of that is just through your guys's prayers and through your guys's encouragement like I have and I apologize for the people I haven't responded back to or I, I, I somehow missed your text or email or gift and I didn't say thank you yet like we've just been overwhelmed by your guys's words of encouragement and prayers and generosity and um, we want to say thank you there was like some churches uh, that asked if we could just do a little video for their small groups or congregation gatherings and if you wanted like a little video I'd be so happy just a, a two minute three minute thing to say thank you guys um, just like so blessed and thankful for you all um, as, as we end this, we just want to say, please pray for our hearts, <laughs> just that we would handle discouragement in a godly, running to Christ kind of way. And we would be able to lead our daughters and Ezekiel <laughs> to do that, um, that we would just encourage one another to do that. We just pray that you'd give us, that, that the Lord would give us wisdom in what house to choose. Like, um, not even that we have many choices everyone tells us no <laughs> it's like god would provide it but like should we should we pay some of these just insanely high prices if um how long of a lease we should get what that does with schooling um and and yeah another thing just ministry related is um as we're not on the west side right now we're kind of more uh, central or south um pray like how can we continue to disciple and care for these like discipling relationships that we have for the church um, that we are covenant and committed to um, how do we just care for a scattered church that's going through just this crazy experience and uh, just pray for wisdom and um, 
that we would just make the most of the, the times that we have. And we're driving back to the west side several times a week, um, but it's just uh, exhausting. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, one other thing you can pray for is just um, us to rest in the Lord and um, trust him and also love our kids well. Uh, just like Eric said, there's been lots of um, stuff to do, trying to find homes, trying to uh, care for people and trying to respond to people um, who have reached out to us. And there's just um, lots to do. And uh, we want to um, still be intentional with our time with the kids um, and not give them our leftover um, time and energy and emotion and attention, but really um, give them the best of our attention and time. So um, pray for us to, yeah, just trust that God is working and we don't have to do it all and um, really rest together as a family um, as we trust him to, to do that. So just the other day, like Zoe, and I said this to Danny, but like, um, mom, like, when are you guys going to have time to play with us again? And that's just like heartbreaking and um, just maybe like my not leading us well. And um, Danny was just, we were talking this morning, like we need to just trust God and put down the phones and stop looking for another rental house and just go play in the pool or play. We just got some Legos from the school or from some people and um, just kind of play with the kids and I think um, that's like so hard for me because I see so many things and tasks I need to do. Um, just appreciate you guys holding me accountable and praying that I would do the most important task and be a, a faithful husband and a loving father. And, um, yeah, we're so thankful that you guys are in this with us. Um, we're just like so grateful and we love you guys and we uh, hope to see you soon.